Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. This is the Nub Connecticut 4x60 Gordo and you're watching 24 Outdoors Cigar Review Channel. Everybody, welcome back. I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Nub Connecticut 4x60 Gordo. Um, but before we get started, I have something to show you. You ready for this? The Dawn Salvador 12 stick travel humidor in cherry. Look at this thing. I finally got it in my hands. I have purchased it uh, before I actually, uh, before the um, contest started, and I hadn't got it until today. Uh, I had seen them on display places, but I had never actually uh, owned one, and I currently still don't own one because this is somebody's. We just are not sure yet, which I think I have. Close to 100 entries or something like that at the time of this video. So let's take a look at this thing real quick. Look at this thing. Nice brass latch. Looks like some sort of finished hinge on the back. This thing is beautiful. Let's open it up. With that hat, that latch, even that really on there. There's a nice little place underneath here for you to get your finger, but that really secures it. Open it up. And, whew, smells like Spanish cedar. Wow. Man, this thing is nice. There's the uh, humidification puck and I assume the uh, analog hygrometer that your mounts for. It also comes with this fella here, um, where I'm guessing that you would, uh, you would put it up there. Uh, if you so choose, I think they give you that option. Um, some instructions, oddly enough, silica gel packet because they want you to keep your humidors dry. It must be so it doesn't mold or something, I don't know. Um, it's raised up around the edges here. Uh, the Spanish cedar is, so it looks like it's gonna get a pretty good seal. And uh, yeah, it, you can feel, you can feel the air being pushed out of it. Um, Man, this thing is nice. I might have to get one of these just for myself. This is fantastic. I just got two more uh, acrylic humidors in the mail, and I'm saving those for other giveaways, so stay tuned for those. But you guys are here to see a review, and some of you might have been here to uh, hear an update about the contest. We have, I think, six, five or six days left in the contest, and I've had great uh, people coming through for the contest, but nevertheless, Let's get into the review. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, we're doing the Nub Connecticut 4x60 Gordo. Now, I love the Nub series of uh, cigars. These things are just fantastic, and especially whenever you have some of the smaller Nubs. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time, these things are just absolutely awesome because, you know, some of them might only take like an hour to smoke or maybe even less, so, uh, you know, you. You, you pack a lot of tobacco in this and you pack really great quality into these cigars. And I've never had this particular one, the Connecticut. I've had the Cameroon and I've had the Nub Cafe Espresso. Um, but besides that, I've never had any of, the, any of the other nubs. I did get a sampler pack from Cigar Bid um, for pretty cheap. It was a 10 pack sampler pack from Cigar Bid, uh, which I'm not affiliated with. I don't get paid for. I don't get any kickback for that. That's just where I got these because I got for a killer deal, which I think I only paid for a 10 pack, like $21 for a sampler pack that came with like the Cameroon, the, uh, the Maduro, uh, those type of things. But I like to keep those type of cigars here in one of my acrylic humidors uh, just because they're so small and they fit nicely in there, but while I have this here, we'll compare the size here to the Nub Cafe, which is smaller, quite a bit smaller here. You see the ring gauge is, is a lot smaller. So like, if you didn't have a lot of time, maybe the Cafe or, or in a like size um, will be best for you to smoke. 
but I'm anxious to see what the burn time is on this because it is so small. So let's get into it here. So looking at it, it has a real nice smooth wrapper, not toothy at all. There is a handful of uh, stems coming down through it or veins. Uh, also, it's not 100% um, seamless, but if the cigar smokes good and it tastes good, I don't care about the seams or the aesthetics of the cigar. I really don't. I, I, I like the taste and I like that uh, they're good and well manufactured and put together well. But it looks like a pretty nice cigar uh, in total here. Uh, right off the bat, I see near the foot I have a little bit of cracking. If I can get this to focus, yeah, you can see it like right here. That's where it's cracked. I don't know if that was from me, maybe from tossing them around here, or from shipping or whatnot, but um, let's get into smelling it and see what it's all about. Got slight earthy, tobacco, little barnyard. There's not a whole lot of Not a whole lot of smell to it. I'll tell you the truth, it's not like overpowering like some other cigars that I've done. It seems pretty mild. Definitely got the tobacco. A little bit of hay. Getting some something sweet in there. I don't think that it's a uh, I don't think that it's a sweetened cigar, but I got something in there. Um, this is an Ecuador, Connecticut, uh, Nicaraguan. It has uh, Nicaraguan filler. So let's get into the cut and the cold draw, and I'll bring you back to that. Stick around. All right, guys. So I got uh, a couple cutters off of Amazon just because they were cheap. And uh, being that I'm on the boat all the time now, I don't want to take my good cutters out and lose them at sea. Um, not really at sea because I'm in northwestern Pennsylvania, but on the uh, on the lake. So I bought some cheapo L L cheapo cigar cutters. It came in a three pack. There was a guillotine, a V cut, and then a punch. So I'm just I, I haven't used the V cut yet. That's what I'm gonna do today. And uh, if I like it, I'll, I'll link it up in the description regardless, so you guys can check it out. But I think I paid all three of those like under ten dollars maybe like eight bucks so let's see what this thing's all about and I, a v cut's hard to do on anything like this big and you know i don't know we're gonna check it out and see what happens if it doesn't smoke right i'll admit to it and i'll admit to my mistake but we're gonna go for it here i think kind of scared Kept it over. all right we got we got a v See if we can just clean it up a bit. Okay. Not bad. So one thing that I've been noticing with my cigars is whenever I do my cold dry, I get all that like little dust pieces that get cut. Um, so what I've been doing is I've actually just been blowing out the foot or through the foot end to uh, the cap end, and it's been blowing all that that dust, that fine particle stuff out. I haven't been, you know getting that on my first draw so I can see like a little cloud that comes out so let's see what this thing's all about hmm. very mild earthy toasty some micro jet tonight just because it's sitting here and my other lighters are floating around here but this one's right here so I'm gonna use them um, so disclaimer I paid for this I didn't get this for free I did pay for this but this I, I don't like really light cigars a whole lot with this because I usually use this for like electrical stuff whenever I do my shrink wrap on wires and stuff um, and it's not like super reliable but Get it lit up here and see what's going on. Take our time with it. I'm not in a rush. I have all night, so. 
Now would be a good time to tell you that in the description is timestamps for every part of this review, starting with the pre-light, then the cut, the cold, or the cold draw, then the cut. The first draw, first third, second third, final third, and then my review of the cigar. So if you're not finding me lighting this cigar very interesting, you're more than welcome to skip ahead. It's down in the description below. You're more than welcome to click on that. And if you're if you're viewing it on a mobile device though, like your cell phone or a tablet, I don't think that you can utilize that. So it might be SOL. But I'm just taking my time with this. I, I like I said, I'm not in a rush. I know you guys want to see the review and whatnot, but I'm just taking my time with this one, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. Wow, smooth. Usually right off the bat on any cigar, you get like a smack of flavor, like right off the bat. Way smooth, way, way smooth. A slight pepper, nothing, nothing overpowering by any means. Very smooth. Mellow. Medium body so far. Hmm. I think I'm gonna like this one. It doesn't look like that crack is really affecting it at all, so I'm cool with that. Um, I'm gonna smoke this down to the first third and I'll bring you back to the first third review. Stay tuned. Uh, link, give me a comment down below and tell me what you're drinking tonight, what you're smoking. Um, it's been really nice to see in the other videos the comments that I've been getting on what you guys are smoking. Uh, I love to see new cigars. I love to try new cigars, obviously. So I might take that into consideration and, and get some of the cigars that you guys are smoking as well, and maybe we can compare our flavors, compare our palates. Grab a drink, smoke a cigar. We'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. So if you just watched that, you'll see that I'm drinking some Wild Turkey 101, some Canada Dry. Now I am into the second third now, and we'll get to that review in just a second. I wanted to share this with you. Wild Turkey 101 is probably one of my favorite whiskeys to date. And you can see me looking at the camera here. I'm just looking at my new haircut. I saw in the last video it was getting kind of shaggy, and I think I pointed that out. But Wild Turkey 101, probably one of my most favorite whiskeys to date, and uh, it's just a great all-around whiskey. Uh, that and the Wild Turkey Long Branch, uh, Matthew McConaughey is the creative director, has hit it out of the park with the advertising on this stuff, and uh, really sold me on it, so I decided to try it, and bam, I love it. But So I'm watching, I, as I smoke my cigars and, and drink my whiskeys, I like to surf YouTube and check up on my regular channels, as you guys know, and I saw a video from Wild Turkey that they put out uh, just a few days ago it looks like maybe uh, no, no about a month ago sorry but it's a label Wild Turkey Master Distillers read not so nice tweets and this is uh, Eddie and Jimmy Russell who are the master distillers for 
Wild Turkey, um, Jimmy being the owner and Eddie being his son, uh, they read some not so nice tweets and their their reactions are hilarious to it. They're so humble about uh, about their whiskey or about their bourbon and, and the way that they make it. So during the video you see a guy engraving um, pieces of wood by hand uh, and then later on in the video you can see what he's actually engraving by hand and that is all these mean tweets and they have stacks and stacks of these of these mean tweets uh, engraved by but I, I would assume they're not engraved by hand they're probably engraved uh, some other way um, into slabs of oak and these are the slabs of oak that they use to make the bourbon barrels out of so um, and they have them facing inward so whenever they char the inside they burn away those mean tweets I just thought that was something something very nice and really brings it really really touches me in the heart whenever I see something like that it's great uh, so yeah anyhow <laughs> back to the review I am in to the second third now I'm going to grab my notes here so I can tell you what I'm experiencing because I can't remember uh, past the end of my nose. Um, <laughs> I, I still can't get over that. It's hilarious. Uh, so with the Nub Connecticut 4x60 Gordo, uh, I love this cigar. It's so light and it's so creamy and it's so mellow. Um, it is still medium body. It's probably about a light to medium uh, strength and the flavors are, are pretty good. I wouldn't say it's really complex, but it's a decent cigar. So on the first third, I got a lot of toast, especially on retro. Whenever you retro, um, you open up your palate to a lot more flavors. It's like plugging your nose and then trying to eat something flavorful. You can pick out some flavors plugging your nose, but whenever you open it up and you're breathing while you eat, you definitely taste a lot more flavors. And if you guys are watching these videos, I'm sure you guys know about retroing. And if you're afraid to do it for the first time, um, just give it a try. It, it really opened up my palate to a lot more flavors that I had no idea were there. So I got a lot of toast on it, uh, a little nuttiness, definitely a creamy, creamy cigar, smooth as can be. That pepper kind of went away, which I love pepper. You guys know that I love pepper, but I'm cool with it going away in this particular cigar because this is like an all around, all day cigar. You can smoke it in the morning as your first cigar. You can smoke it as a, uh, like a smoke break at work if you have an hour or so to, to burn. Um, and it can be your nightcap too. It can be your final cigar for the night. And it's not, the finish is long, but then it disappears. And you're not having like that really, really burnt tobacco taste in your mouth after your cigars burn out. So I, I, I like it so far. Um, that pepper went away, like I said. Uh, I got the toast. I definitely got a lot of cedar out of the cigar. And uh, I, I love the cedar taste. Definitely earthy and a little bit of sweet hay. The sweet hay is just ever so, ever so present. Um, like whenever you bring it in and you first start pushing the smoke out, not retroing, but first start pushing the smoke out, the sweet hay is right on the tip of your tongue there. But total burn time right now, I'm at about 25, 20, 25 minutes. So it's kind of where I expected it to be. I'm guessing that I'm gonna end this before an hour, which is, it's fine with me because then I know and I know I have one hour to spare. I can smoke this particular cigar. Um, and I, I, I typically, during my review, smoke it nice and slow so I don't heat it up too much and I can get all the flavors that the, uh, the blender intended for me. So I'm going to continue to smoke this down to the final third and I'll come back to you with the second third review. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So, finally into the uh, the final third now. Uh, the burn actually started to slow down on me in the second third, which I'm cool with. Whatever, it is what it is. Um, as you can see, the ash did fall off. I had quite the uh, quite the ash build up on this thing uh, in relation to all the bigger the cigar actually 
actually it was, it was like a third of the uh, a third of the size of the cigar which doesn't happen usually um, but I don't even need a notepad for this uh, because I had zero change in the in the second third the retro was the same I still got that toast on the retro I had the cedar um, I had a real creamy to it uh, it's starting to heat up now. I, I don't actually know how much of the final third I'm going to be able to smoke because it, I mean, that, that is literally all I have left in it. It's just into the final third. These things are so cool just how small they are. I mean, you could take any cigar out there and make it small and it just, there's something cool about having a, a short stubby cigar. It's just, I don't know. I'm going to keep these in my humidor, I think. Um, I started off with these, like I said before. I have like 20 or 25 of them in here. Um, and I, I, I want to point something else out. I, I put these, I transferred these from my main humidor to this um, acrylic humidor. And it has this little uh, plank of cedar at the bottom. I have a 69% uh, boba pack in there. And these have been in here now for probably about 24 hours. And I just want you to check out uh, the hygrometer there. That is 68% at 65 degrees. These things, these are worth their weight in absolute gold. These things are so versatile. I love it. Um, and as far as the humidity getting released, I open this up, I grab my cigars, it's open for a few seconds, I shut it up, and uh, it barely loses like any humidity. The humidity probably didn't even drop it all in there just by me opening it. And Guys, if you can get onto Cigar Bin, I'll leave a link in the description below. These are on falling prices all the time. Like, I think I got this one here in particular for like seven bucks. I got this one and then my other one back there. And then actually, like I said before, I plan on giving some of these away. They're not super expensive, but. Oh, I got two more here unopened. Uh, just because they're they're so nice to have and they're you know if I get into a, a spending spree on cigar bid uh, which I need to stop doing because my wife uh, she's not happy with me uh, for discovering cigar bid um, excuse me let me get my camera frame there and pull my shirt up uh, they're so versatile like you just throw cigars in them I did on uh, one of them back there I did wipe down the I, I do wipe the inside out to get you know any foul smell that might be in there which there really wasn't any um, with baking soda and a water solution on a uh, sponge but um, my other one I did season just to compare and contrast see if there's any difference and the hygrometer in that one's reading pretty much the identical thing that that's reading 68% and my my smoke room, my workshop here is 65 degrees. So it is the most versatile humidor that you'll ever purchase. Now you can get like cheap Tupperware from like Walmart or Amazon that do the same exact thing. Um, but these are just cool because you can fit, I mean this, realistically from the bottom there, you can fit eight inch cigars in this thing. And it's advertised as 25 cigars. So I guess that's all dependent on the, uh, the size of the cigar. Obviously because I have these little nubs in there. But I am definitely going to keep these uh, keep these around. These are so cool. And they're they're fantastic cigar. They're, they're uh, part... What was I reading? The Olivia, Olivia Company um, produces these. Uh, and Olivia, is a, they make fantastic cigars as well. I've got a handful of them. Um, which I plan on reviewing because I have some in the wine and door back there. Um, but so the construction's great. Um, it's actually not heating up horrible right now, surprisingly, with as small as it is. I don't know why. But the V cuts hold together good. I only caught realistically through one of the caps because it's not a deep V. It's not like the Calibre a deep V or the Zycar or what is it? Zy Zycar? Is it Zycar? I don't know. Um, it's not like those ones where they're super deep. Um, I, for all the more I pay for this cigar cutter, guys, I, I can't complain. 
if I lose it on the boat, I'm, I'm not, I'm not out anything. And you know, if I have friends over and, and, uh, uh, they break or, you know, one of my friends needs a cigar cutter, I'll, I'll throw this at them. I'll, I'll throw, you know, a couple of those at them. So I might, I might stock up on those from Amazon with as cheap as they are and I'll give those away what, uh, as well. Um, yeah, those, those things are great and they have a nice rubber seal all the way around them. They're, they're so cool guys. But anyhow, uh, regardless, I am into the final third. The second third, again, it was unchanged. It stayed the same. It, it's very, 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 uh, straightforward with that. But, um, stay tuned guys. Uh, smoke your cigars with me. Drink your whiskey, your beer, whatever you're deciding to have tonight. And, uh, we'll be back for the final third. I don't know how much more it's going to be in that final third though, because, uh, there's just not a whole lot there. So stay tuned guys. I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, welcome back. I have done something. God, I look like a mess, a, a really hot mess. Minus the hot, I just look like a mess. Uh, I have done something that I have never in the past done. I smoke my cigars down quite a bit uh, to where it's burning my fingers and I'm like, done. Uh, but today, it's the first for me. I don't own a cigar, one of those fancy cigar picks that you, uh, the end of your cigar and you, you smoke your cigar down as far as you can but today I'm doing it holding this is a uh, razor light from outdoor edge these things are so awesome these things are so cool because you can take the ray you can take the blade out like if you don't have time to sharpen it and you're out um, like gutting your deer and you smack a bone or something or if you're you're processing your deer and you smack a bone um, you just switch out the blade real quick and uh, simple and easy but I, I choose to sharpen these uh, save a little save a little bit and um, have a little plethora of them that need sharpened actually uh, but like I that is how much I have left I don't know if you can see that I, I mean I know you can see it but let's get it to focus um, I have that much left and guys I just can't put it down it's just a cool cigar. It's small. I don't know why uh, it's intriguing me so much, but it is. So, I have about three quarters of an inch left on this thing. Uh, and I'm going to continue to smoke it, but I'm going to give you my final third review anyhow. Um, just because I don't foresee anything changing. Uh, so, I had... <laughs> I just can't get enough of this thing. I had zero change in this thing, and it's really cool. Um, zero change, my ash fell off again, uh, which is not a big deal to me, but uh, zero change in it. Um, haven't rated it yet, I am gonna rate it. And I'm gonna guess this is gonna rate somewhere in the 30 to 31 points out of a possible 40. And if you've watched my videos previously, you know that I score in so many categories. I have the, um, the pre-light, the uh, pre-light, the cut, the cold draw, the uh, cut, the light, the uh, first draw, first third, second third, final third. Those are how I review them. And they're worth five possible points uh, in construction, the taste, the flavors that I'm getting, the burn. Um, just a really cool cigar. I'm guessing it's going to score somewhere between 30 and 31 which is a pretty high score for me. Not too many of them gonna score that high, but I just, I love this little cigar. <laughs> I gotta watch doing that because this is razor sharp. I, I, I literally just sharpened this like maybe 10 hours ago. So it is, it is back to razor sharp, um, splitting hairs. So, uh, yeah, just pretty cool cool little cigar and um, nub uh, I don't know if any representatives from nub are ever gonna watch this video but guys keep up what you're doing with these cigars these things are freaking awesome that Cameroon that I had in Erie uh, which if you guys follow drinking bros cigar aficionados on Facebook I'll link it up in the description below awesome group on Facebook to get insight and whatnot I I've posted pictures before of me smoking the Cameroon on Lake Erie and uh, great cigar. I, I really like that cigar as well and I have a couple of those to sample um, in my sampler pack that I got from Cigar Bin, but not affiliated. 
I really, I really do like this cigar, and I highly recommend it to anybody who needs a quick or wants a quick smoke. So I am at about an hour and five minutes on this, roughly-ish. I'm not very good with math. Um, I'll do the calculation later, and I'll put it in the description below. Um, but I want to reiterate some things that I had said earlier, uh, which is our contest for the uh, Don Salvador uh, humidor. Um, I plan on getting this video edited tomorrow and uploaded, so we'll have plenty of time to go and do that, and I'll leave the link to King Sumo, a contest page, uh, in the description below. And follow us on social media, but if you're going to start following us during this video, you need to go through the King Sumo to get entered uh, into the contest. If you just hit subscribe below or over here, somewhere down in this area, there's gonna be a little cigar. You can always click that to subscribe, but you wanna go particularly for the contest through King Sumo. And I, I, I miss uh, Pernal, or I, I, I misinformed everybody before. I thought that you would only get five entries for everything that I had set up. Um, but you can actually have 16 total entries uh, to win this, so um, yeah. Uh, in the future, humidor giveaway for the acrylic humidor, and I'm gonna send, since they're pretty cheap, um, budget's going to allow me to send some humidification with this, some, uh, some uh, boba packs and whatnot, and maybe a digital hygrometer for in it as well. Uh, it does come with the, the florist foam puck, but uh, you guys know how I feel about that. I'm not, uh, just skip out on that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so far, cigar is awesome. I love it. I really like it. I'm going to keep these in stock. Uh, as long as they make them, I'm probably going to have a stock of them. And I've been checking Cigar Bid for more of them and trying to get the best deal I possibly can on them through Cigar Bid. Not affiliated not affiliated with Cigar Bid, Cigars International, any cigar manufacturer, any cigar retail, not affiliated with yet. So if anybody out there is watching and you want to be affiliated, hit me up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to smoke this some more. And like I said, the only reason I'm doing the review now is because I've had zero change from start to finish, minus the, uh, the little bit less on the pepper that I had before. I'm not getting that now, really at all. It's just a just a pretty cool cigar to smoke. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think I'll keep these around. So, guys, if you enjoyed what you saw today, and I really hope you did, please click subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. If you have a friend that's into cigars, share it with them. If you have friends that are thinking about getting into cigars, share it with them as well. We want to get as many people as we possibly can to subscribe to the channel. Uh, the more people that subscribe, honestly, the more, uh, I guess you could say, the more I want to do it. I really want to share my experience with you guys. I'm going to smoke cigars regardless whether anybody subscribes or not, but it's just whether I upload the videos or not is the thing. Um, right now, I have 20, 30 some subscribers maybe. Uh, and again, I appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed. Um, check out within the next couple of weeks on 24 Outdoors, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and our other YouTube channel, our 24 Outdoors channel. Uh, we're fishing like fiends right now. Uh, the lake's beautiful. Uh, they're up at Summer Pool now, so we are targeting musky, bass, walleye, uh, got some northerns up there there's even some lake trout and um, I will leave a link in the description below of East Branch Lake it's in a uh, in Jones Township in Elk County Pennsylvania it's pretty close to me so like I can be there within like I don't know 15 minutes and on the lake on the boat so uh, we're definitely gonna be keeping up with that and uh, throwing up a lot of videos pictures etc of that stuff I always have my GoPro my vlogging camera and whatnot with me so pumping out the videos there, getting a lot of content to upload, and the new arrival this week is my Mavic, or my uh, DJI Spark, uh, so look for some nice cinematic drone uh, videos as well if that's something that you're into. Uh, it's going to be a first for me, so I, I'm hoping that the videos turn out good. My editing is, is alright for those, uh, definitely going to use some color correction on those to get them as nice as I possibly can, so 
Um, that is the cigar review. Guys, like I said, if you like what you saw, click subscribe, click the like video, or click the like button, and uh, turn on the notifications down below so that you're up to date on everything that we do because I want to do as many giveaways as possible. And that's what I do. So, click subscribe, click like, and uh, turn on the notifications. Uh, until I get to see you guys on the very next video, stay smoky.